The riot at Port Augusta was predictable because of the government's pack, rack and stack approach. The riot could have been avoided if the government had managed the prison system properly over the past seven years. Under the RAND government, we've seen prison overcrowding increase from 8% to 22%. And the fact is that if you make prisons like warehouses and rack, stack and pack prisoners, they will react. Under this government, we've got the most overcrowded prison system in the, in the nation, and clearly it's not working. The first thing the government's got to do is recognise there is a crisis. They've been in denial mode for months, if not years. It's, it's vital that the government deals with the, uh, the, the order issue at Port Augusta, but as soon as Port Augusta is uh, brought back under control, they need to, to, to do systemic change. Let's remember that with this, with this unit being severely damaged, it's likely that there'll be a number of prisoners who won't be able to go back to their cells. So we're going to be looking for prison cells for 46 prisoners into a system that is already chronically overcrowded. Every prison in South Australia is already above its capacity. Um, I'd suggest that we should be seeing transportable buildings going into prison campuses within a week. The, uh, prison, the prison officers um, also support that, that suggestion. They believe that um, pr transportable buildings for low security prisoners within uh, secure perimeters is an appropriate response to overcrowding. The Liberal Party agrees.